Hi Aquarius, welcome to my channel and welcome to your December 2023 weekly tarot reading. We are ending the year. Cannot believe it. End of 2023. I'm going to look at your general and love energies, the current person on your mind, any new love potential coming your way, and the potential of you and each zodiac sign, Aries the Pisces. So make sure to hit that like and subscribe. You know it helps my channel grow. And also leave comments down below. I'd love to check in with you guys and see if it resonates. So let's take a look at your energy for the West, the, the West, the rest. We are in the retrograde. Remember that. The rest of the month of December, moving into 2024, Seven of Cups in reverse, though. So Seven of Cups finally making a choice. Maybe you've had a lot of options, and um, this coming week is going to be finalizing, knowing exactly what you want. You have the Four of Cups in reverse, so um, definitely finding the one. All right, so Justice card here could be commitment this week. Queen of Wands, people around you, what you don't see coming, the universe, the world card, advice, the chariot card, but it's in reverse. So remember, my reversals are just, you know, I'll read the reversal and then and then tell you the whole, you know, the card, but just that it's, it's a temporary thing to look at. You have the seven of cups, but it was in reverse. All right, so the Seven of Cups in reverse tells me that um, you're seeing eye to eye with one. There's somebody that stands out in your world, um, and you're you're coming into alignment with somebody right now. So the Four of Cups in reverse to me um, shows an opportunity. It shows happiness. It always think of like in my head, I do everything in a system. So I always kind of look at Four of Cups in reverse can be a Three of Cups. You know, feeling good, feeling happy, feeling content, feeling like celebrating with people. And there might be just, you know, you might be noticing this week that there's certain people around you who just stand out um, as being the ones that you feel comfortable with. We do have that Cancer full moon, which is about home, family, nurturing and just feeling feeling comfortable with people. And this could be an energy you're feeling um, that you're just you're trapped in your tribe and you're you, you have the right people. So the people who are not on your page are just not gonna they're not gonna get a ticket in a ticket in they're not gonna get front row seat um the justice card is your obstacle opportunity this week to really bring a balance to your life bring a balance to commitments bring a balance to love um, money and things like that so the justice card is closing of a you've got the the world card and the justice card here so it's almost like you're wrapping up it you know, 2023 with a complete completion. You've gone through so much this year and now you're closing the chapter, you know, starting 2024 with the right people, the right people on your team and knowing exactly what you need and what you need, you know, what you want to give to others. The queen of wands is your external um, world. The people around you are just attracted to you. So Aquarians, you're like, you're, you're glowing, looking good. You're a magnet feeling pretty confident, especially when you're around the people that you really feel successful around, the people that you really feel good to be around. They bring out the best in you. And the Queen of Wands is somebody who's just um, has so much focus, knows what she wants. So you might even be finding yourself this week really looking out at the next coming year or years, and you're really focusing on some of the things that you really want and desire. And you might even be reflecting on the past year of how you may have gone through this Four of Cups energy where many times during the year you felt unfulfilled, right? You wanted things to turn out a certain way, you want you wanted relationships to be a certain way and they just didn't show up for you in some ways right but the four cups in reverse is showing that especially with the justice card you may be kind of looking at i can see why certain relationships didn't pan out for me they just didn't cut it they didn't cut the the final cut and so you are making some sort of final cuts here um you know for the coming year the queen of wands is a visionary she takes action. She she tracks in exactly what she needs. She's very, very um, goal oriented and very creative. So you have this ability right now to really be making plans and forming. Maybe you're going to be talking to a lot of people about business or about um, finances and or even about long term commitments. 
with that justice card. The universe is what you don't see coming is this major close in your life, this major chapter, the hardest part, like you've gone through all the lessons this year. Now you're, we're going to embark on the new lessons of 2024, but we're always, we're, we're a step up, we're a step up. We made it to the next level. So now it's like those lessons we've had to learn all year long. That's it. Those are, those are over. It's like you've mastered them. You're at the top of your game. You have a lot to be proud about right now with that queen of wands energy. Very confident energy, very highly attractive energy, very magnetic energy. So whatever it is you're manifesting or you're focused on, you're calling it to you easily. All right. So the advice card for you is the, the chariot card in reverse. All right. It could be saying, you know, put the brakes on for now. All right. And take a look and really analyze. And so the, and with that Queen of Wands energy, really take a look at what what it is now you want all right but it also shows me that if things do if they have slowed down or they are slowing down right with that we're just in the retrograde period and this is also a card of reflection really take a look things are taking a different turn for you so be flexible um during this time period because if something's shifting and when you got the world card and you've got the chariot card. Don't be afraid to go full speed ahead, but also know that things are going to take a, a turn, a quick turn for you. And your focus, right, you know, the freedom, the, the chariot card in reverse can show kind of being out of focus, not knowing exactly the direction which to go in, right? But the world card says it's a new beginning. So just go for it. Just go for it and see where, it, where it's going to take you. The Queen of Wands is asking you to kind of map out and look at, visualize your plan for 2024 and plant the seeds right now during this retrograde, especially. Uh, you will have the answers. You will know you will know what to go, but you just got to move forward. Don't hold yourself back out of fear. Of course, I always say that. But let's see you. That's a, that's a great start. So let's see with love, because with love, you do have... Um, the justice card you have an opportunity coming in there's a cup of love coming in you might already see it usually the four of cups energy will show me that you you might be not seeing the love around you but in reverse you're seeing it you're seeing the potential you're starting to feel it you're starting to know that there's something coming in there's something you want there's something you know you know you're so close all right the justice card does show divine love and the queen of wands it could be a fire sign it could be a taurus leo aquarius scorpio or a cancer um coming around if things do slow down for you in love it's slowing you down so that you can take a look around and see who it is and that seven of cups in reverse you may have had a lot of opportunities you may have met a lot of people you may have been on a lot of adventures you may but you're going to see which one stands out the most when it comes to love right now so let's see the current person on your mind it seems like you have you're getting closer to um you're getting closer to making that decision and honing in on somebody for the right reasons. True love here at the bottom of the deck. You're in seek of true love. You have the world card. You have the justice card. You have the chariot card. All right. The true love comes when you least expect it. Now, the seven of cups in reverse can also show that you're seeking. Seven of cups in reverse is like the six of cups. You're seeking that true love, that true friendship. You're turning over a new leaf. You're wanting real love. You want an unconditional love. You want a friendship where you can grow, you know, great memories together. You want into, um, you don't want to be your, out in the dating field. You don't want to be, you know, questioning love anymore. You just want to be with somebody for the, you know, for this loving reason, like, you know, this really good reason here. Uh, with the true love here, it's mutual attraction. So let's see the person on your mind, the current person on your mind. I've got Libra energy too. I forgot to say that, uh, Libra energy. So we've got your person in the Four of Cups energy too. So you're matching up with somebody who's in the same energy as you. They're tired. They're tired of um, unfulfilled relationships. This is somebody who um, wants wants the same thing you do. Uh, so maybe maybe you're starting to come together and realize that, or if you're already together, you're both realizing that there's got to be more fun. There's got to be more excitement. There's got to be more um, to this connection. Because the four of cups can show your person here kind of feeling stuck, 
kind of feeling at a loss or feeling, you know, emotionally unfulfilled. And it's definitely somebody who's very emotional. Uh, the water energy is showing somebody who feels like their cup's not full. All right. Feels like they're, they're not, emo they're not getting their emotional needs met. All right. We have the temperance card here at the bottom of the deck. All right, so the four of swords here is the mutual energy here. So, and the way they view you, the nine of wands. All right, so they see you as somebody who's strong, somebody who's a healer, somebody who's been through a lot, somebody who's tough, somebody who doesn't give up, somebody who will find a way no matter what, somebody who's very passionate, somebody who's very um, action oriented, driven. And this person, you know, they're over here, the four of cups and the, the there might be a little communication between the two of you or there's something going on where you guys, um, you know, the four of swords can be needed to take it. Maybe you're taking space or taking a break or things uh, are not communication isn't moving as, as, as good as you want it to. They could be seeing you as a very fiery energy, very passionate. They could be intimidated by that. Nine of wands is a tough energy. Nine of wands, um, when you want something, you go get it because you've already been through enough in your life. You just know that, you know, you don't mess around. That's it. All right. And you go after it. You've got somebody here who's in their emotions, though, who's um, maybe not quite as driven as you are. And there could be some misunderstanding between those two types of energies. They admire that. They love, I mean, that's what's bringing you guys, especially with that Queen of Wands here. That's what's this person that attracts them to you is that you're going to get what you want and you're going to go after, but you've got somebody here, the four of cups who's stuck in an energy of, you know, um, just feeling bored with maybe their own life, their own stuff, or maybe feeling misunderstood when you're coming from a place of maybe not realizing that they're feeling this way because you're so used to, being the warrior. So I just think it's a little bit of space and time or clarity, communication over this person needs to catch up with you. We have the muse of pentacles, right? So that's like the king of pentacles. This has long-term potential, this relationship. Long-term potential could be a Taurus or a Capricorn. We have the six of pentacles, all right? And it wasn't reverse for advice. And the Six of Pentacles might be showing an, uh, an imbalance. Maybe you feel like you're asserting yourself more, giving more to this relationship. And you feel like your person's not giving as much to this relationship as you are. But the the love there, the mutual attraction is there. Um, they need to give a little bit more. They need to find a way to give a little bit more to you. So where you have this energy, Aquarius, of of having the potential to do everything, get everything done, that's not going to make you happy in the long run. You're eventually going to want this person to show up for you with that Six of Pentacles in reverse. You pulling back a little bit, allowing them to give to the relationship will make them feel like they you know, might start to build them back up and make them trust in the relationship a little bit more or get, get them out of this being stuck energy. Four cups in reverse. And I have also, oh, so that's the muse of inspiration. They both look kind of the same. So a lot of you, their thing is your person feels stuck materially. They feel stuck um, in their, their work. They feel unfulfilled in their work, their material world, their gains, their security, their long-term potential. Maybe they've tried so many times in their life to get things going, but they just haven't. They, they, maybe their resources are slowing down. Maybe they just feel like, you know, I don't know if I want to do this again. I don't know if I want to start up again. You know, am I going to be unfulfilled again? All right. So this person's material world is weighing on them. You, on the other hand, you have all this passion, all this fire. You're inspired. You're like ready to go. I, you know, it's like, but the nine of wands can also say, you know, it's, it's, you're, you're hitting a, a burnout point too. Like you've got to let others give to you. Six of pentacles in reverse can be like, you give it all, you do it all. 
you've got to let others give to you. You've got, and this person needs to because they're in their emotion. They need to feel emotionally fulfilled. They need to feel inspired. They need some of this energy that you've got. But by doing everything or throwing it at them, it's not going to get that way. It's about this person um, dealing with dealing with their own finances, dealing and finding their own inspiration to go again, but watching you and being inspired by you, but not being controlled by it. All right. So the six of pentacles is asking you to kind of take back a little bit of energy and let them step up to the plate and allow them to give to you. You'll find balance. The six of pentacles is showing that you will find balance. And the temperance card is also saying the same thing to me. There's just a, you know, out of balance here. When somebody's not pulling their weight, like this person might not feel inspired to just yet. If you're doing everything, they're they're not going to, it's enabling them. You pull back a little bit, it's going to inspire them. The temperance card shows that there's a lot of potential here. Allow things to unfold naturally um, instead of trying to get things to happen so fast. And I'm saying that because you've got the fire energy. Now, it's a general reading. It can be reversed, but you've got the fire energy. And so that means that with fire energy, you're very driven, you're very aggressive, you're very, you know, you're ready to go. And also you can get frustrated and pissed off if people aren't meeting your needs. And there needs to be, the temperance card needs to be a balance with yourself in that energy too, because even with manifesting in our own life, um, we don't need to try so hard. The universe will bring it to us, the six of pentacles. You don't have to work this hard. The universe will make it happen for you. But our old way of thinking was we've got to hustle, make things happen. All right. So I, you've got the muse of inspiration and the muse of pentacles here. So you're seeing, you know, very strong, passionate and very grounded relationships, something that could last a long time. But it's going to take, you know, you've got the four of swords, too. Somebody might be taking a break because they can't handle that intensity you know, and so just a little bit of space for time and clarity is going to help you guys balance things out and work things out together. 1717, 17, when I said that. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It could be an Aries, Leo, Sag that you're connected to. It could be anyone. I, when I use so many cards, it's going to show um, a lot of signs. So it can be, those are the energies that are coming up though. Let's see the new person potential for you. New person potential. Ten of cups. You got good potential. The devil in reverse. This person ain't coming in with any games. They may have released a toxic energy from their life. Capricorn energy. They may have dealt with all their shadow shit they may they might have just gotten recently you know over addictions or anything like that but this person's the devil in reverse all right they're not they're not looking for any games right now they're letting go of something the four of cups in reverse so this person wants an opportunity um they want an opportunity to for a relationship with you the way they see you though the two of pentacles they might see you have a lot going on and they might need you to be a little bit more flexible I just got an instant download. All right. This person doesn't want any drama in their life. They just released a major toxic energy from their life. This is new. All right. For those of you that don't want to be triggered by a past person. So, and I, I'm just saying, I've got to read the cards the way they are. So use your discernment. All right. They have been so unfulfilled in the past. But there also could have been a lot of addiction or drugs or anything like that or drinking and stuff like that that affected this relationship, especially with the devil and the three of cups. The four of cups in reverse could be the three of cups to me. This person wants a fresh, clean ace of cups, fresh, clean start, true love. They may be wanting to make plans with you for the future, but they might be going slow because they might be making an important decision, all right? They're weighing everything out. So this person's going to be, they don't want to lose the opportunity with you, but they're definitely going to be going back and forth, making decisions and moving slow. So plans with this person is going to go. It might not go like 
Oh, on Monday, we went out. Tuesday, we go for lunch. Friday, we're out for dinner. And Saturday, we're sleeping together. And then we're going to Vegas. It's not going to happen like that. With this person, it's going to be more like, we'll get together this weekend. We'll talk, text a couple times. And then maybe in a couple, you know, maybe next weekend or the fall, we'll get together. And, and then it'll pick up pace when they build trust. Um, and the same could go for you, too. You might be like, oh, I'm the same way. They may view you as having a lot going on and also the two of pentacles. You might be juggling. You might you might have a couple of different options. And so this could be just a new opportunity coming in for you and is trying to squeeze in and see if they can get to know you. But I do see the potential for making plans with this person. I do have the queen of wands here and it was in reverse. So they may see you as um, having a lot going on. And sometimes you're out of, you know, the queen of wands in reverse can be somebody who is scattered, you know, the busy, the busy mom, the busy dad all over the place and, and anxious and, 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 and needing, you know, um, <clears throat> some ground in the two of pentacles. They still want an opportunity with you, but they just might really see you as having a lot going on. Um, also the queen of wands in reverse can be somebody also who wants, you know, can be pressure, right? Or focused on yourself, focused on your things and not seeing that this person just needs a little bit of time here to, to balance things out, to, to weigh things out about moving forward. And so it's about understanding one another here. Again, that energy that I was getting from the other read is the balance. All right. Very attracted to you. They might even feel like you're not attracted to them. All right, we have the seven of materials. So this is somebody who's really invested in a relationship, but having patience with this person. They want to see where things can go. Um, and they're weighing out their options. Um, and everybody has the right to do that, right? So the seven of pentacles is showing me that this is worth your investment. You may get a return of investment. But that the queen of wands in reverse can be very stubborn energy. Leo is a fixed energy. And if things aren't going your way, or if you're if you got a lot going on, and and you're and you want things to hurry up and go, or you have plenty, you know, this person might might back up a little bit because they the two of pentacles is showing me they just move at a pace. They got a lot going on too, and so but the seven of pentacles is showing the potential of the ten of cups here with this person, long term relationship. Could be an Aries, Leo, Sag. Could be a Capricorn. Let me see. Aries through Pisces. Aries through Pisces. Again, this is a hit or miss. This is just a bonus. Um, put less weight on this part as you would on the other parts. All right. So you do have the energy of true love around you with that first card. And it comes in when you least expect it. Aries, no other compares to you, but money concerns affect your love life. Taurus, their mind and heart are always coming back to you, all right? And time apart will improve your relationship. Gemini, I want to be honest with you. I'm not afraid anymore, but unnecessary drama is affecting your love life. Cancer, I'm in a much better headspace now. They feel like you compare yourself to everybody and your insecurities diminishes your beauty. Leo, maybe we're just too different. You put them way too high on a pedestal. Virgo, you feel like home to me and they, feel, they fear losing your love and affection. Libra looks you up online to see what you've been up to but it's their turn to chase after you. Scorpio can't seem to find the right words to say to you, and they love swooning over your photos. Sagittarius, my heart is telling me to just do it, but they feel like you have internal conflicts that are affecting your connection. Capricorn, seeing you reminds me of the things and it triggers them that they know that they don't want to deal with, but they do want to start all over with you. Aquarius, something is still missing for me, and I'm trying to figure out what it is. A spiritual awakening is affecting you both. And Pisces, our connection still affects me. 
your relationship is being divinely guided. So I love you guys. Hopefully this helps you and happy holidays.